Spiders are amazing creatures, and they have appeared in many stories and movies, and you may find those who love them very much, and there are those who hate them, and there are those who fear them, but regardless of your position on them, you will find the following facts about spiders amazing and strange, and your view of these creatures may change because of them. Spiders have only two body parts. Wolf Spider All spiders of all kinds and species share this feature, as their bodies consist of only two parts, the abdomen and the cephalothorax, or the abdomen and chest. Its simple eyes, feet and fangs are all located in the front part of the body, which is called the cephalothorax, and the spinnerets that produce silk are located in the back of the body called the abdomen, and the two sections are connected to each other by a narrow and thin part known as the leg or pedicel, which shows the spider as if it is waist. Spiders are all innate predators, and their means of survival is to hunt their prey from other non-vertebrate animals and insects, and this is the case for the majority of them, but there are exceptions to the large sizes of them, as they may hunt and feed on large animals such as birds. Spiders belonging to the order Araneae include the largest group of carnivores on Earth. Before spiders can devour their prey, they must first turn it into a liquid state, as spiders secrete digestive enzymes from their stomach onto their prey. The intestines are where nutrients are absorbed and distributed throughout the body. Not only that, all kinds of spiders, without exception, are able to produce silk, but this ability remains with them throughout their different life stages. Spiders use silk for various purposes, including catching their prey and protecting their young. They also use it to facilitate their movement and build a shelter for them, and some species may even use it for reproduction. Spiders reproduce sexually, but male spiders use an unconventional method to deliver their sperm to the female. At first, the male creates a special place of silk, deposits his sperm inside, and then withdraws those sperm again using a modified tail-like suffix called the pedipalps, located near his mouth where he stores the semen in special tubes there, and once he gets a mate, he transfers the semen to her through the pedipalps. Female spiders are larger than their males, and when feeling hungry, the female devours everything and anything she touches, even if it is her faithful companion. Males usually use some courtship rituals and flirting in order to identify themselves as mates rather than as moving meals. The gloved spider we mentioned a while ago does some acrobatic dances at a safe distance and waits for the approval of the female before approaching. Males of the type of warb weavers and most species that weave nets also resort to sitting on the edge of the female's net, gently shaking the strings of the net to make vibrations, waiting for any signal of acceptance from the female before venturing and approaching her.